<laughs> so these, um, these I bought my academy 30 years ago. We had to, um, we had to memorize the serial numbers because the academy class instructor wanted us to learn about teamwork. So when we memorized and we told the, the guy, yeah, we, we've got it, we got it figured out now. Um, he took all of our handcuffs from us and made this big ball of handcuffs, cuffing them together. And there was, I mean, there was a, a stack of these things, right? And the reason why he wanted to do that, because he wanted to teach us that teamwork is more important than the individual. We had to use our teamwork, obviously, to get that figured out. We also had to remember what our free, all the serial numbers were, right? The first time it took us hours to figure that out. But he did it each, each week, he would do this. And we figured it out in just a mere, mere few minutes. I couldn't tell you how many times I used these in my career. Um, three different departments. Probably thousands of people have these on their arms. Police work isn't about arresting bad guys, though, really. I used to tell people when um, I was applying for jobs, they asked me, why are you want to believe police officer? I'd say, I want to drive fast. <laughs> Arrest bad guys, put them in jail, right? <laughs> After like 10 or 15 of those, because I failed every time, <laughs> kind of calmed that down a little bit. But police work isn't about that at all. It's about solving problems. That's, that, that's, that's, that's it. That's the, whole, that's the whole job. Hopefully, I've solved some problems, hopefully. I have a lot of people to think, and I don't have enough time to thank them. But I'll tell you this. I know for a fact that without some of these people in this room here, that I'll, I would not be here today because they have backed me up so many times, I saved my life so many times, I could, I could, I could never be able to pay it back. And hopefully I've done that to others in my career. That's the brotherhood of, the sisterhood of law enforcement. It's about solving problems and taking care of each other and making sure you go home every single night. So again, I want to thank the people that have worked with me all these years and have put up with me. I am a pain in the ass, trust me. <laughs> I really am. I'm a pain in the ass because sometimes I do stuff and I don't tell them, okay? <laughs> and sometimes I get in trouble for it. Then I gotta go to Ted Olson's office. I get busted. <laughs> and I deserved it. I probably deserved it. Okay? That's the way you are as a chief. Sometimes you just got to do stuff that, with your heart and your gut. And that's kind of all I've done here. It's always just kind of operate with my heart. There's two things you have as a police officer. You have your head and your heart. And sometimes your head does a lot more work than your heart does. Um, also part of that part problem, sol problem solving. You use your heart a lot. For me, you are as a chief. Sometimes you just got to do stuff that, with your heart and your gut. And that's kind of all I've done here. It's always just kind of operate with my heart. There's two things you have as a police officer. You have your head and your heart. And sometimes your head does a lot more work than your heart does. Um, also part of that part problem, sol problem solving. You use your heart a lot. And for me, it's, uh, it's been always about that. Uh, I've always tried to lead with my heart. For this job. You know, I wanted to be a minister before I became a police officer. I wanted to be a youth pastor, right? I really did, okay? But I can tell you that 
this job, all right, is way more fulfilling for me personally because I think that I've been able to help folks along the way, all right, and positively impact folks along the way. I'm, I, I know I'm not uh, the smartest guy in the world. I know that that uh, I've not I know I've made a million mistakes, but I think I've done more positive things than negative things, and. For me, maybe that was my my uh, my ministry was just just trying to solve problems. I don't know. You know, we'll see. I know I enjoyed it. Seven seven fifty one fifty one five seven eight one one. That's the serial numbers. Thirty years ago. One last thing. My wife is here. I will not call her up. <laughs> but as you can imagine, my family's here too. Actually, my, my, I'm going to introduce them to you real quick. My, this is my father right here, is Layman. My mom right here. My brother, Britt. My wife, Liz, of course. Prince Lisa, Bill. My daughter, Haley. Grandma Marie. Of course. And Kate, my, my niece. That's them. You know, I, I told you I was kind of a pain in the ass. I really am. But imagine if you, if you had a, a spouse and a dad who was all over every kind of media all the time. And you were a teenager. Okay? Right? Or you were a wife that was related to every single person in the whole county, for God's sake, she really is. <laughs> related to everybody. How many people are related to my wife right here? I mean, there's nobody. <laughs> right yeah, okay. So it's, it, you, you, unfortunately I've, what I've done is, is uh, sort of put our lives sort of all out there, all right? And yes, I got busted at home for that too, as well, okay? Um, yeah, it's a pretty bad, pretty bad videos I've done, I think, uh, they're pretty awful. Um, but I've, I've, had a, I've had a great wife and a great uh, um, daughter. So um, this last year, um, our, our, in 18, I went to the FBI Academy. Uh, Captain Renoso was the acting chief, did a great job during that time. I've, we, we, we all know that, but my wife, um, is home and she has to deal with my daughter's stuff. She has to go to rodeos. We do a lot of rodeos. She has to take care of the house. She has to feed animals. All these things that my job as a spouse to do half of them, she'd taken all of it, right? Um, and then imagine this. I'm off doing, I don't know, somewhere, some school somewhere or some meeting here till like 1.15 in the morning, for God's sakes, <laughs> 2 o'clock here. Um, and she's off taking care of the home, right? So when I was at the FBI Academy, my wife's a big pen person, right? She is. She's like a pen freak.